everyone, today I will be showing you how you can make a monkey's fist knot with no marble needed. Let's get started. So for this tutorial, I am using five millimeter braided cotton cord and mine is measured about four feet long. And when you're first learning this knot, I think that it's best to use a more structured material like your braided cord or use paracord or a synthetic braided, something just with a little more structure. So now our first step is we're going to make ourselves our own little ball type shape to act in place of our marble. So what I like to do is I like to take one end and just kind of fold it over itself and then I take that doubled section and I just tie a simple overhand knot. So just your basic overhand knot. You guys all know how to tie these, I'm sure. And our goal when we're making this overhand knot is to just try and make it as round as we can. This is going to act as the core in our monkey fist knot. And normally when you make this knot, you would use a marble or some other rounded item to insert. But since we're not doing that, we need our knot here to act as that core. So that is why we kind of want it to be rounded. It doesn't need to be perfect, but just do your best. And then what you can do is just take a pair of scissors and cut off the little tail that's sticking out. Just trim it right off. And now it's time to actually tie the monkey fist knot. So I like to place the ropes between my fingers. So I just take that knot we formed over my fingers like that and I like to kind of slide it over off to the left. So that's how I hold it in my fingers. And now we're going to wrap it around vertically our two fingers. So I just take it and go around and around and then back up once more. And now this is where I can kind of push this knot in the middle of my ropes here that are between my fingers. So keeping your fingers wide really helps out. I have small fingers, so <laughs> it's a little tricky for me sometimes. Just like that. And now we're going to wrap the rope around horizontally. So we're just gonna take our end and we're gonna go behind and up through and I like to push it down towards the bottom. And we go back around and up through. And you just want to make sure you're stacking the ropes on top of each other. You don't want them to be crossed at all. And then we're going to do it once more for three passes. So we take it behind and up through our fingers. like that. So you'll see that we have three ropes stepped on top of each other. And at this point we can actually remove the ropes from our fingers. So this is maybe the trickiest part because you're going to want to keep everything together as best you can and then kind of turn it on its side so you can see the two openings, the top and the bottom. And what we're going to do is send our rope through these openings. So we're going vertically again. We're going to send it down through the top opening. And push it off to the side towards the left. And then we bring it up through the bottom. And then we're going to go back down through the top. Back up through the bottom. And 
And again, make sure you're stacking your ropes next to each other. Down through the top. Up through the bottom. And back down. Just like that. So you'll notice that we did three passes on our projects and the way you can make sure that you did it correctly is you just go through and count and make sure you have three lines next to each other. So I have three here, I have three here, three here. This is just a way to check your work. I got three there and so on. And if you did that, then you know you did it correctly. Here's just a little close up of what mine looks like so far. And so you can tell that this is definitely a monkey's fist knot, but you can also tell that it's not shaped properly and that some of the cords are looser than others. And this is just going to happen. Everyone will have this happen when they make the monkey fist knot. So technically we are not finished quite yet. What we need to do is go through and just tighten up our ropes. So what I like to do is try to find my starting point. So I think this, I think this is where I started. So what I do is I just pull and I'm going to follow that through. So I cinch it, then where did the rope go? I find that and cinch it. Here it is again. And we're just following that rope around and pulling each individual rope and placing it where it goes. Now, don't worry too much your first time going through about pulling it super, super tight because you might need to do this a few times just to get it to look proper. So be gentle your first time through so that you're able to tighten it another pass. And if you had problems finding your starting point to begin tightening everything, don't worry. You'll eventually make your way through and everything will get tightened. So don't worry too much. Some people say that this is the most... This is the worst part about the monkey fist knot, but I kind of find it a little relaxing and it's fun to watch your work form into what you worked so hard to create. So just turn on your favorite music or your favorite TV show and just have fun with it. Don't stress and have a little patience and you will find this relaxing and fun. There you go guys. This is how you can make a monkey's fist knot without needing a marble. This is a great thing that you can add to your keys with another knot or just use for other decorative purposes. I hope you guys found this video helpful and inspiring and thank you so much for watching.